It's time now, though, for Wex in this city. We're talking bullpens, and I do think the Yankees are still really good. They lost, arguably, though, their best piece in Michael King. So if Edwin Diaz can come close to his 2022 performance, guys, and then they brought back Autumn Adovino. Brooks really had a good season. Drew Smith appeared in a career-high 62 games with 60 strikeouts. I'm going with the Mets. Jerry, we're going to start with you. Who has a better bullpen as it's currently constructed, the Mets or the Yankees? Yeah, as it's currently constructed, I think it's the Mets. I think the Yankees lost Michael King, and they just lost Wandy Peralta, their, their one-two punch there. The Mets need Adovino to return to what he's been the last couple of years. Uh, Edwin Diaz, I think all point all signs point to he's going to be just as dominant as he was in 22. And Brooks Raley was very good. They need Drew, uh, Drew Smith to step up. He was healthy most of the year. Uh, he had a very solid season, but I think he's got more left in the tank. But top to bottom, I got to go with the Mets here. All due respect to our host, our esteemed host, <laughs> and our esteemed relief pitcher. I have to disagree, and maybe even strongly disagree. I think the Yankees have a significant edge here. Uh, Peralta hurts, as we said. They're going to miss this guy. Uh, but a couple things. As, as, as John and I were saying, you trust their ability to, fi to find guys and then turn them into something better uh, than what they are. I think we're underrating a Jonathan Loisica because he's been hurt. Clay Holmes has become one of the premier closers in baseball. Uh, Victor Gonzalez is a lefty who they traded for from the Dodgers, who they feel good about as, as Peralta's replacement. I could keep going. But the <laughs> other point is about the Yankees relative to the Mets is the Yankees have some really good young power arms, guys who project to be starters ultimately probably in their system and guys who could come up in the middle of the year and help in the bullpen the Mets have some starting pitching that they're excited about but guys that like profile to be more back-end starters they, they they aren't as pitching rich in the upper levels of the minor leagues as the Yankees so the Yankees will be able to bolster that bullpen from within through the season and again they have a program that's tried and true and the Mets are in year one of a, of a new front office and a whole new program you got to give the edge to the Yankees who have shown it to us already that they can do this I got to go Yankees as well uh, you, uh, did you mention Le 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 I like Le I did, Le yeah. a lot I mean I think he's got another level to go to I know he's been hurt at times but I do think they have more established arms. to me it's really more about about the Mets, to me, they have that threesome back there of Rayleigh, Ottavino, and Diaz. But other than that, I mean, Drew Smith, until he stops hanging sliders, yeah. he's not a guy you can trust in, in big, high-leverage situations. Unless Jorge Lopez, who has a possibility to be a wild card, comes back to be that guy who was with the Orioles a couple years ago. That's, that's, but that's, you know, you're counting on a, a big bounce back from him. Other than that, they're, go, they're counting on a lot of reclamation-type arms. And maybe David Stearns can do what the Yankees have done with some of these guys. He's got to prove he can do that. But I just don't see a lot of depth in that pen, and that's what always haunt, seems to haunt the Mets. All right, it's two against two. I see that here. Jerry What's and I the tie get two. Yeah, I see. I, I'm the, I'm the, the tiebreaker. Tie the host is the tiebreaker. Tie Absolutely. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Sorry about that.